Three minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift up. Detected. Touch motion. New Glenn has cleared the tower. New Glenn has cleared the tower! Go, baby, go! Pushing the seven good engines. 30 seconds into flight. Engine operating cameras continue with good at full thrust. Body rate is not just a moment. 40 seconds in. End of roll switch now level. 50 seconds in the flight, continue to see good engine operating parameters, all shut down for Supersonic. Supersonic! And we can hear the One minute 30 seconds. Engine operating parameters continue to look good at full thrust. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. One minute 45 seconds in. All seven V4 engines continue to look good. Body rate phenomenal. Seeing good control on MR and TVC. Acceleration Now passing two minutes in the flight. BE4 is unreal. One minute remaining in boost phase. All right, one minute remaining in boost flip phase. You heard our team say, then we'll hit Nico. Main engine cutoff. That's going to lead minutes, to a sequence of events. We will separate the first stage from the second. And that's when the first stage is going to begin its journey back home. We're going to see if we can land the booster separately. Of course, we will get the second stage off and going with the NASA escapade satellites on board on their way to Mars. Trajectory continues to look good, seeing good data quality coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response Great to hear phenomenal. that. Good data quality. All seven engines continue Looking to look nominal. Good. Next up, Miko, which is main engine cutoff. The cheers are real. You can hear them all the way in here. And we have Miko. <laughs> and we have Miko. And we have good stage set. We have good stage separation. And we have ignition on stage two. Both engine parameters look good. Stage two ignition. Oh, you see the two rockets there. Body rate stamping out nicely. Both b 3 engines look good at the high thrust set point. Body rate responses look good. Three minutes, 43 seconds into flight. Look at that view. We have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Both B3U oh, engines great. continue to look good. Fair Body rate response is normal. Seeing good data coming down from both stages. Great data. We're four minutes into NG2. And you saw a spectacular view from look good. down Body from our GS2. Continue to look good. This is a nine and a half minute burn for GS2. Not, uh, four minutes, 25 seconds there. into flight. All right, at nine minutes is when we're expecting the first stage to touch down on Jacqueline. Approximately two minutes remaining in the GS-1 coast.
Thank you again, everybody, for joining us for NG2. So far, a nominal mission. PS2 is now 320 kilometers downrange, traveling at 2.8 kilometers per second. Trajectory we continues to look good on both burn, stages. Clean separation, clean fairing Right down the middle jettison. of the range track. Engine operating parameters on GS2 look good. Five Sounds minutes, like our GS2 is having a beautiful ride. The, the NASA escapade satellites are yes, exposed to space now right now. And we've got GS1 the coming E3 down for landing GS2 body at race T nominal. plus nine minutes. One minute remaining in the GS1 coast. Continue to see good data coming down from both GS1 and GS2. Body rates on both stages look good. The three U engines look good. Everything looking good, looking nominal. Seeing good TVC and R on this moment on coming up is an important one. Trajectory it is. We're to going to. We're going to relight the BE4 engines for the reentry burn. Body rate snowing out on GS1. The exo turn is complete. There you go. It's about 300,000 feet, less than 100 Six kilometers up there, coming the in for a landing on the Jacklin, 375 miles offshore, waiting for the first time to land and Blue Origin's new Glen Booster shortly. on the Jacklin. Continue to see body rates on GS1. <gasps> that looks great. We have our booster reentry burn. All, all three engines. No matter what happens next, we have had a good day. This is further than we made it on NG1. That's right. The indication of engine ignition on GS1. Continue to see good data from GS1. About a minute and a half. Engine parameters look good. Is when we would see. Confirm engine cut off. Never tell me the odds. Return to Earth. You Seven see it in kind of horizontal position. We've got the streaks on the base of the booster, which give it lift. So right. we can basically fly this booster. Of course, we're using the forward fins as well, plus uh, some of our reaction control system. To, uh, as well as the gimbling on the B4 engines to turn the rocket accordingly. On here, it starts to tilt GS1 down. Now halfway One minute to go. GS1 Less than 40,000 feet. Good. GS2 throttle down complete. Responses look good. Eight minutes, 20 seconds from the flight. Landing burning mission, and we have landing burning mission. See three good engines. We've got our booster landing burn. Engine control looks good. Of course, those pods are there. Eight minutes, forty-three seconds. Flight deployed. Now down to landing shot burn. From our booster. Standing back to touch.
it's something so good, you gotta watch it twice. Give it back to us. 12 minutes, 30 seconds in the flight. Look at that. Beautiful. Standing by for Chico, one shortly. Landing. Perfect.